happy anniversary, quota of Maslin. It's been 20 years. It's hard to imagine that we started from such simple beginnings with our hopes and our dreams and our dedication, and here we are 20 years later with such tremendous accomplishments, so much for us to be proud of. Please enjoy the, the presentation and, and reflect back on all these wonderful moments that we accomplished together in Quota. I served as charter president from 1992 to 1994. I was very privileged to work alongside with the Canton Quota Club, who was very instrumental in setting up our organization. And it, you know, those were the wonder years. We wondered how we were going to get it all done. We had, we needed 25 members to charter as a new club. Uh, we needed to help educate and gain community support because this was a community that was fairly. Um, uncertain of what quota was, so we needed to educate, we needed to gain support, we needed to determine and provide services. But I remember the energy, the enthusiasm, and the determination that all of us had. We pulled together as one unit and we got the job done. It just seemed that there was no challenge that was beyond our reach. And one of the unique things about Quota is there's a purpose, and you feel that purpose. You see the end result. I think if you just look around, um, we still have many members involved. We still have great community support. And if you look at the uh, assistance that they've provided, the different services that they've provided um, to the schools and to individuals and to families and to the uh, community as a whole, uh, that speaks for itself. When I said that we were small but mighty, that still stands true for the group today. I remember going out to Bowers Elementary School and the teacher gave us a demonstration. I believe we took the whole club out there and she demonstrated and it was just amazing. Not only in the classroom, but we used it at our meetings. Um, it was amazing how well adults can hear anyone. Well, originally we were to help um, individuals with hearing or speech problems and um, we expanded over the years to also help anyone who has disadvantage, whether they're women or children. It wouldn't have to be in the speech or hearing field. And when I took the presidency, we were just a very young and energetic club. We were full of all this passion and emotion and, and this desire to just kind of change the world. And um, I feel very fortunate to have been there during those very special years. One of the special projects that we did during those years uh, was we 
um, did our sound field amplification project and we were recognized um, by International and we received what they called the Star Award and that was for the best service project in all of International we did receive first place. And as a result of that, um, I was invited to International Convention to present on our project and I also received the award there um, for that um, sound field amplification project. We uh, started out very small, providing a few systems and we decided that um, this was a project that had a lot of merit and a lot of need in our community. So we invited a national, nationally known speaker, Dr. Carol Flexer, and she came to one of our meetings and talked to us about the merits of sound field amplification. And that's all it took, we were hooked. We decided that this is something we thought every classroom should have in all of Stark County, if not in all of Ohio. And from that, we proceeded to um, try to raise money and uh, our auction, we put a lot of effort into it. That was our second annual auction that year. And we were able to raise $8,000 to provide sound field systems and we placed 20 um, that year and we were very proud of that. Looking back, we've now placed over 200 systems throughout the classrooms. We also started um, a new fundraiser that year, that was Holidays, that was our very first time with that. We are still doing Holidays to this day. But we had gotten a call by the Wellman Association and they wanted to do a project um, of opening up homes for Christmas to do a fundraiser. We um, presented a scholarship to a student, and this was for a student who was either hearing impaired or who was in the field of speech and hearing, and we gave out a $1,000 scholarship. But I have to say those years as president were a very, very special time, and I feel very proud and honored to have been a part of that very creative group and time in our quota history. I think the most challenging thing at the time, we were growing, and so it was getting the word out. Um, about quota. We were growing at the time and I feel as um, as president my, my goal was to share with the community and um, to share how great quota was and the great works that we were doing because I mean to buy hearing aids for someone it means the difference between them having a life with communication and then not being able to you know even leave their homes. Um, I got involved in Quota because I have three children, two of whom are deaf, so um, they both listen and speak and they both use a device called a cochlear implant to listen and talk. Um, Quota has really given to me in a big way. They, they provided research monies for the device that my children ultimately use to hear, so it's really impacted my life as a result. It has a higher purpose or a higher goal in our community to make things better for disadvantaged and for people that, that really deserve to, to have help. Um, after two years of our quota members traveling to Columbus, House Bill 150 finally became a reality. And we were real for fortunate that Governor Bob Taft came to Maslin Doctors Hospital to sign the House Bill into law. Um, Governor Taft stated that he never saw so many people present for a bill signing before. For Maslin Quotarians and for six district Quotarians and our family and friends, it'll be an occasion that we will never forget. I feel I receive much more from quota than what I can ever return to it. One of our most um, ambitious projects during my term as president was our Listening to Learn program and we received $40,000 grant from the Paul and Carol David Foundation and then we also needed to um, provide $12,700 in matching funds and with this we um, implemented our Listening to Learn program. We bought Soundfield classroom amplification systems. We had 52 systems that we purchased for all preschool through third grade classrooms um, in Madison City Schools. Mr. President, it's very gratifying to know that, that we have people in our community that uh, are giving back something to the children who are the future men and women of this community and of course they will certainly leave Maslin. And as I believe I can speak for the entire board, how gratified we are that you are considering doing things of this nature. Um, it's very good to be in Maslin. It's very good to have people that love their city, that love their school, and love the children. And on behalf of the board, I certainly want to say thank you. 
during this time that I was president, we did have a lot of service projects, a lot of things going on, and when we all kind of work together towards a common goal, it really strengthens our club, it builds bonds among our members, and I think people are so excited about being Quotarians that they want their friends to join too. We do, we have had a lot of support in the community. Um, sometimes just the publicity efforts, making sure that the paper covers an event that we're doing is helpful so our name is known in the community. But we've had a lot of monetary support from um, the foundations in our area. And I think that's kind of helped Quota to become known in the, in the community too. Our Sound Beginnings program is a program um, that's been in existence for several years and we provide the first pair of hearing aids for all children born in Stark County who have a hearing loss. And so this, this program is completely funded by grant money. And so we're, you know, during the years that I was president, we did continue to fund, write grants and get funds for that program. I'm very proud of Quota. I appreciate the um, opportunity to have been president. Last year, our main emphasis was on equipping a very unique and state-of-the-art audiology center. This is housed in Prairie College School in Canton, but it's for all children in Stark County. It cost us $80,000 uh, to equip it, and it's very state-of-the-art um, center. I'm told that we've tested over 300 children, which is really phenomenal. The grants have also allowed us to provide children with the very first set of hearing aids through our Sound Beginnings program. This program is very unique in Stark County and I think it's very unique in the state of Ohio. Also through our grants, we worked with disadvantaged women and children and we developed a relationship with uh, young women from the PAL mission. At the auction, the chair decided to feature a poster child each year. And that allowed us to put a face to the auction. I think it was very meaningful. So as a charter member of this organization, I have enjoyed watching the way we've grown. Uh, we started out with a little over 25 members and now we're almost at 50 members. So I think we can say that we fit a definite need in our community, a need that no other organization fits. I would tell you that probably one of the greatest things is going to an international convention. Meeting women from all over the world that all have the same mission that your club has. And uh, we were lucky. We met some really, really nice people. We went to some interesting places. Uh, as I said, we took a few side trips. We went to San Francisco. We went down to Carmel. Um, it, was, it was just very exciting and it really bonds you with the people in the club uh, when you go on these trips and, and do things just outside of the norm. Uh, but we also started a website that first year and we're, we still have that up and running. Uh, so that was kind of getting on the cutting edge for us. Um, we did win uh, an award that year from International for increasing our membership the most, um, and I think we were up to about 60 members at that time. We actually won quite a few awards at that international conference, and it brought home to the, those of us who were there just how active our club is and some of the things that we participate in to raise funds are not the norm from around the, the country. Uh, it's a very active club people who are really dedicated to working toward helping uh, our missions to help speech and hearing impaired children and disadvantaged women and children. Um, so like I said, I think I have more than one good memory. They were all good memories and I really was honored to be able to serve as president for that term. And uh, now I just really want to be a worker bee and just help with all the different things that we do and continue with the friendships that I've been able to make. Um, we probably have one of the greatest bunch of people around and uh, we all seem to get along pretty well and, and work toward our goals. So I'm just really happy that I'm a quota member and that I was able to serve for a while and, and get to know everybody a lot better that way. Uh, I'm so proud to be a quotarian. Uh, and I hear a few years ago, the uh, 
president of our, our governor of our district when the, she came into her uh, reign. She uh, brought with her a motto, uh, the gift of quota. And that just touched me. It's so because it is such a gift, it really is. Uh, the gift of friendship that, that's just unbelievable. Whenever you're, you, you're quotarian, I call them my sisters because whenever I have any sort of a problem, they're right there. I mean, just right now. Uh, that's, that's a precious thing. Uh, and, and the gift of satisfaction, because nothing is more satisfying than what we do for the people we are working for. Uh, the hearing impaired, the, the disadvantaged women, uh, and, and you work hard. But oh my goodness, the satisfaction that you have when you can give to those people. And the gift of joy, I mean, uh, the joy of having these friends, uh, it's a peaceful, wonderful joy, but sometimes it gets a little hilarious. <laughs> it really does, because we just are not above having a good time. Uh, we, we just, uh, it's just amazing that you can get 50 women together and have a good time. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, uh, and this all is so precious to me and, and means so much. Uh, I, I am just so thankful that Anna gave me the gift of quota. Uh, even though we do most of our work in the local community serving disadvantaged women and children and the hard of hearing individuals and children, my kind of niche has been with the club to club service, which is now called Hand in Hand where we go through the international aspect and do a project to uh, help the very indigent children in third world countries, which include mostly India and the Philippines. And so my little project has been the Princess Tea Party. And it's a very, very fun event that everyone enjoys who comes and the funds from that are all submitted to help this third world project and it's always a challenge to select which um, program we want our funds to go to because they're all so deserving but that's been my little niche but we've been so active and so busy and when I completed the records for the 6th District Conference. I just kept writing reports and writing reports and more and more reports because we do so much and I didn't want to leave anything out. So we've been very busy um, in all of our committees and it's, it is just a very enjoyable position to be involved with and again the friendships are very meaningful. I guess when I was president, I felt I needed to be on all the committees so that I was knowledgeable of everything that's going on because even though I've been a member for 12 years, I feel like I'm still learning. Our club is such an active club and we're always doing something. And I think um, the auction is just so close to my heart. Um, since I've worked on the auction for so many years, and uh, I just love the uh, the children. The, since we have the child honoree as part of our auction every year, it just seems such a special part of that because I love helping the small children with the hearing uh, difficulties. And uh, this year's child honoree, Nolan, was just the sweetest little thing. The little blonde, blue-eyed little boy. And just to read his story and hear his father talk about what it's meant to them and other families of what Quota has done for them. That's just, just so heartwarming, I think. And uh, so I feel that that's makes everything worthwhile. I mean, uh, there's a lot of, of work going into being president because we're so active, but it's also so very worthwhile. And, 
um, I just, just enjoy everything about Quota. Happy 20th anniversary, Quota International of Maslin. We've accomplished so much together, and I know the next 20 years is going to be another tremendous journey together.